now that we've dealt with that, now we can deal with what we want to deal with first, or touch on what we want to touch on first. We want to touch on etymology, the importance of etymology, and we'd like to encourage the brothers and sisters and mothers to acquire a New World Webster's Collegiate College Dictionary, a New World College Dictionary, Webster's New World College Dictionary. Um, we have, I think, the third edition. Some say that the fourth. I think the fifth. The fifth edition has a picture of his imperial majesty that may be an incentive to some. But really, what should be an incentive is to learn the truth about the language, so you can understand. You understand the language that we're speaking. And so we're going to use a particular word that is often used, especially a lot. I think it's it's used ad nauseum. You understand? Um, in the Rasta, Farai, and among you know rastas you know and we think that it is a good word but really it's a nice word in fact the word actually is nice the first thing we want to lay out right here is what is in a word persons places things events past present and future that that's a little overview of what's in the word but what is true word the study of etymology basically mean etymos, which means true, and logos from logia means the study of. So etymology means the study of true word. In other words, true word study. You understand? True word study. This is what we strongly suggest and advise, really. That ones and ones who are seriously considering discipleship and seriously considering and seeking to learn this truth for themselves and to have access to the tools should acquire a Webster's New World College Dictionary third edition or greater. In other words, I think they're up to fifth edition now, maybe sixth, but they're up to fifth edition. And I was told that the fifth edition has actually a picture of his imperial majesty in that particular when you when you look under i think hyla selassie look under his name there's a picture of his imperial majesty within that but the reason why is this let's get into this particular word right here but a particular word that we want to touch on is the word nice how often do you use the word nice do you use the word nice a lot do you think the word nice is a nice word you understand have you had a nice day this this would be nice. That would be nice. So forth. Enough niceness. Like in, you know, in reggae, in the so-called dance hall world, nice is used a lot. You know, you see these flyers that come out for dance hall sessions and stuff like that. Enough niceness. Enough niceness. Enough niceness. Have a nice day. Have you ever been called a nice a nice guy, a nice girl, a nice person? Now. We're not saying that the per the people or the persons that may have called you this understood this that we're about to get into briefly right here. The etymology of a nice word. And the word is nice. As you see in front of you, we have a clip, a scan of uh, from the New World, uh, Webster's New World College Dictionary, our edition, third edition, we have a scan of the word nice. Nice. Adjective, nicer, nicest. Now, here's what's very interesting. Here is etymology. This is why this dictionary, the New World um, Webster's College dic Dictionary, is so very good. When we talk about etymology, look up the word, so forth and so on. Look at the this particular um, let's call that definition even though they call it a dictionary we, we don't look in that really diction so much we're looking for definition but there's no definitionary but maybe one day we could start a definitionary but the main thing about this teaching is to learn how to study the etymology of words what you see in front of you is nice adjective nicer that, bra that brackets we have N-I-S is basically the, the diction or the pronunciation. As an adjective, it's nicer, 
nicest. But now let's look in the bracket, open bracket. You see the bracket where it has M-E or me, M-E? M-E means Middle English. In other words, in the Middle English, this word goes back to Middle English. This word is not a biblical word. This word is not a Hebrew word, but it's a word that we use so much. And most of y'all probably never even knew what this word really means. Now, for those of you who can read, you probably already are reading what's on the screen. You're, you, you, you should be reading what's on the screen. You understand? Just don't wait for us, but you can, you know, read what's on the screen and still listen. Open bracket, M-E, Middle English, comma. It says foolish, wanton. What? The word nice? You mean when you say to somebody, have a nice day, what are you really saying to them? According to the etymologos, the, the true word, you're saying, well, have a foolish day. Well, have a wanton day. When somebody says, hey, you know what? You're, you're a nice, you're a nice roster. You understand? Well, you're a foolish roster. You're a wanton roster. Do you, do you understand this? In other words, you would never hear the queen being called directly, at least to her faith, the queen of England, so-called, called nice. But she is a nice lady. The queen of England is a nice lady. You understand? And and <laughs> we will get into that. But let's go further. FR, it says from. The FR means from. OF means old French. So it's from old French. So this word nice for, is from Middle English. It means foolish, wanton. And it's from, F-R, period, from, O-F, Old French, comma, F-R, again, which is from, L. L is Latin. And the Latin root word is nescius. Nescius. Or nescius. Or nescius. Nescius. Nessius. What does Nessius mean? Ignorant. Whoa. So the word nice actually means foolish, wanton, and ignorant. And it's from, FR again, it's from Nessere. Nessere. What does Nessere mean? What's right in front of us? To not know. Wow. That's that was that's the hidden something in that word. If you go back to even old movies and and even literature, if if you read like old European literature, the classics and all that stuff, and you look at how the word nice is used, it's often used especially by writers with a knowledge of what the words mean. Especially good writers, they understand what words mean. You know what I'm saying? So there's a there's a pun in that. For example, me and somebody's about to do something. The person I'm about to do something with, you understand, um, is suspicious of you. You come up, you you come along, and they think like, "Oh man, does that person know what's up or whatever like that?" And I say to the person to allay their fears, I say, "Oh, so and so is a nice. So and so is nice. Don't worry about that. They're, they're, they're a nice person. They're, they're nice." What am I really saying? I'm saying they're foolish. They're wanton. They're ignorant. You understand? They're basically, they, they don't know. They're ignosis. They are ignorant. So the word nice means ignorant. The word nice means ignorant. According to its etymologos. And we can close the etymological bracket. Now notice something. After the, the word nice, after the, the pronunciation key, after the adjective nicer, nicest, in those brackets right there, the bracket beginning with M-E and ending with to not know bracket, that is the etymology. Any word that is used in the English language, you understand, almost just about English, any word, you can look up in the New World, the Webster's New World College Dictionary, you understand, and you should look it up. Because one thing you'll find is that that's the etymology, the true meaning. But then look what comes next. One, we have one, two, three, four, five. You understand? What's one, two, three, four, five of nice? That's the connotation. That means that in this present time, because people are so foolish and wanton and ignorant and they don't know, this word now has taken on another connotation. It's taken on a whole other life. You understand? And most people think the word nice means fastidious, discriminating. 
So when somebody calls you a nice person, you think it's a compliment. You understand? Maybe they think it's a compliment too, but it's really no compliment. It is based on your not knowing. You understand? Your necious, ignorant condition because you necessary or you don't know. You understand? So people think it's fastidious, discriminating too. Marked by delicate discrimination or treatment. Notice that. Notice, see, there's something in this definition here on the nice that kind of tells you, it shows you, there's a link. I could link this between the connotation to the etymology. Check it out. Look at number two. Number two says marked by, <laughs> marked by delicate discrimination or treatment. Notice this. If I say, "Oh, don't, don't, don't mess with, don't mess with him, don't mess with her," uh, you know, they're nice. Leave them alone. They're nice. They're nice. Don't bother them. They're nice. Don't bother them. They're nice. Don't bother them. They're nice. Don't bother them.